Hey YouTube, I'm back this time with my Bath and Body Works empties for the month of September 2021. Um, you're going to see this outfit a couple of times because I'm doing a little bit of a filming frenzy today. Um, so yeah, next three videos or so you'll see this, but um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with my Bath and Body Works empties again for September 2021. I'm going to start with my trio and then I'm going to get into like everything else that I used up. So I will start with the uh, bourbon, strawberry, and vanilla set that I used up. I have my Ultra Shea Body Cream, my Fine Fragrance Mist, and my Shower Gel. So the cream and the mist I've had for uh, maybe like two years at this point, and the Shower Gel I just purchased off of eBay oh, maybe like a month ago. It's from a vintage haul. I'll link that down below because I always love my vintage hauls. So bourbon, strawberry, vanilla, this was my very last set that I had and um, I have a strawberry leaf or like a wild yeah a wild strawberry um, fine fragrance mist which is just a repackage but uh, I will still miss my bourbon strawberry vanilla like OG packaging so love it the key notes are bourbon vanilla garden strawberry apricot nectar pink jasmine and white oak it just to me smells like a creamy um, spiced strawberry and I love that for fall transition so um, love it and I would love to see this return to Bath and Body Works okay so like I said that was my uh, trio that I used up I'm gonna get into my hand soaps um, so I mentioned in my uh, challenge update video I'm gonna link that down below too because I did that on the first I went through a lot of soaps in September I don't know what the deal is because both my husband and I were at work the whole month so don't know but anyway i used up a whole lot of soaps so i used up my last you shine bright strawberry lemon sorry about the glare there we go um you shine bright strawberry lemon the keynotes are sweet strawberry sparkling lemon and crystallized sugar yeah it just kind of smells like a strawberry lemon that i would not consume like it smelled really good but i would not like drink this thing you know it just didn't smell like edible or necessarily that authentic but it did smell nice and very fun and fruity so um, I had two of these and I just used up my second one so um, I like this this originally came out in the summer of 2018 um, during SAS but this one itself is from 2019 so would repurchase it's not my favorite but I would repurchase it so that was a holdover from the summer. I also used up my last holdover from the summer, which is my fresh strawberry tart from last year. Um, key notes are freshly picked strawberries, orange zest, and bergamot. To me, it just smells like a strawberry soda. So I know that strawberry soda body care came out for summer SAS, but that was just a repackage of strawberry from last year. This to me smells like an actual strawberry soda. So I wish that the strawberry soda body care was this, but it's just not. I loved... Um, like fruity soda as a child, like grape soda and strawberry soda. And to me, it smells like, um, like strawberry, is there a strawberry Fanta? Or no, it was like a Welsh, I don't know. Anyway, there was a strawberry soda I used to drink as a child and it smells like this, oh, so good. So um, if you watched my hauls throughout the month of September, I did purchase more fresh strawberry tart. It was like, um, like updated packaging for this year. Like I only have pies for you is something kind of cheesy like that. I don't like that packaging. So I'm going to take one of them and just dump it into here. So you will see this bottle for me again in the future. It's just has product from another bottle in it. So anyway, I love this scent. It is so good. This is what I want strawberry soda to be. Okay, the next one that I used up was one from the fall. This is Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. So I know it came out in the summer, but it was part of my fall challenge. Key notes are marshmallow fluff, vanilla bean, and creamy caramel. To me, it just smells like vanilla ice cream. Very heavy, but very yummy. So I bought two of these. I'll use up the other one probably in the spring or summer, so it'll be a while. But I love Boardwalk Vanilla Cone, and I love to see it come back at Bath & Body Works. So would repurchase, definitely. I also used up an afternoon apple picking from this year with the kind of like frosted finish. Um, key notes are crisp apple, succulent pear, and cinnamon. Um, I think that I definitely get all of those. Definitely the pear and the cinnamon last. But yeah, it very much smells like an autumnal red apple. I bought three of these last year and definitely got bored of them by the third one. So I decided to only pick up one this year and I really enjoyed it, but you know, I'm ready to move on. I'm ready for more scents. So I think that one is the, you know, the good number for me per year. So one, love it. Would repurchase it next year. 
Okay, and the very last soap that I used up is one that I also purchased in my vintage haul a while back during the summer. This is from 2015, the Cork and Vine Collection. Ugh, that was such a good collection. Um, Wild Vineyard Blooms. So key notes are, are there key? Oh yeah, here they are. Okay, Blushing Peonies, Autumn Vines, and Port Wine. I feel like that's pretty solid. To me, it smelled like almost like a mature floral, but also there was something kind of fermented at the end, like a floral wine. So it was pretty good. Um, I wouldn't necessarily seek this out again, but it was nice to have it. I wound up getting it because uh, I also purchased a pumpkin cupcake soap, which will appear in my October empties. And I also purchased a Bright Autumn Blooms and they just kind of came together um, in, I don't know, a little like lot of stuff from Poshmark. So that's how I wound up with this. But like I said, Cork and Vine was a lovely collection. My favorite scent from that collection was White Peach Chardonnay. So good. I would love to see it return. But anyway, Cork and Vine is where it's at. If you're a Bath and Body Works OG, at least from 2015, mm, so good. Okay, so now let's get into my shower gels I used up. Speaking of OGs from my vintage collection, I used up my shower gel in Wild Berry Tulips. This came out, um, at least for the first time around, 2012 to 2013. Um, key notes are a flirtatious blend of red raspberry, sheer honeysuckle, and pink tulips. And this is from the year 2014. So this I think was the last year that this collection was at Bath and Body Works, at least in stores. Um, so yeah, cause I remember using this up in college. Um, so around 2012 to 2013, those were the summers in between grad school for me. So I always loved using this up uh, around that time in my life. So would we purchase it? Um, Wild Berry Tulips is very much so like a floral, like a blackberry floral, so good. They also had um, wild citrus sunflower, which was fabulous. And they had a wild apple daffodil. And it was such a fun collection. Mm, so good. Would repurchase it, but because it's vintage um, and it kind of costs a lot, a lot, depending on how you see Bath and Body Works, um, it'll be a while before I repurchase it, but I'm really glad to have used it up. Okay, and the last shower gel that I used up is the Bright Autumn Blooms one that I just talked about. Um, this one is from 2018. This debuted in 2017. Was this back in 2019? I don't remember, but anyway, fragrance notes, warm marigold petals, cedar leaf, sparkling bergamot, and sandalwood. And yeah, again, I think it smells just like that. So it's very much so a kind of mature, like woody, autumnal florals. So again, I was just really hankering from a bright autumn blooms. And so yeah, I picked that up. And like I said, this came or these two came together. And it also came with the pumpkin cupcake soap from 2015 that I'm currently using up and you'll see that next month in my empties. Okay, so um, also other shower products I used up, I used up a sand and sea salt scrub. This is from summer SAS, at least that's when I got it. Um, this is the Bahamas passion fruit and banana flower. Key notes. Uh, passion fruit, pineapple leaves, and banana flower. I've talked about sand and sea salt scrubs on my channel before because I still have a number of them, maybe like four or five left. I like them because they're coarse. For me, a coarse scrub is where it's at. However, I've said on my channel before that the thing about the sand and sea salt scrubs, and I don't get it, but like whatever, is that they never smell like the fragrance. Like this to me did not smell like Bahamas passion fruit, banana flower. To me, it smelled like sand and walnut shells and that's what's in it um we've got coconut oil walnut shell yeah there's something kind of like woody and a little like nutty about it um so anyway i don't mind it just because i like the scrub itself but do be aware of that if you um want to pick up the sand and sea, sea salt scrubs they're great if you want a coarse scrub like i do but these will not smell like the actual fragrance so just keep that in mind Okay, and I would repurchase despite that though. Um, next, let's move on to little stuff and then that'll be it for my empties for this month. I used up both of my hand creams from my fall challenge. The first one I used up is in Black Cherry Merlot. Um, no scent notes here, but I had a coupon for a free hand cream or whatever. That's the only time I even get them, unless they're like 75% off and I really want the fragrance. Um, I just don't like the twist cap and you know, I think they're a nice size like for my you know, like my, uh, my makeup bag that I carry around with me, but um, I just don't like the twist cap. I just really missed a flip cap of 
the days of yore, and by that I mean like, I don't know, what, 2015, 2016? Um, but anyway, I just haven't had Black Cherry Merlot in a hand cream in forever. So I decided to pick it up. It was nice to use, but like I said, I just, uh, just hate the way that this is like packaged. I just really want it to have a flip cap. Okay, and the second one that I used up is pretty out of season, but whatever, I can enjoy this any time of year. This is the Happy Easter Sweet Bunny Berry. I picked this up at SAS because I mentioned in one of my empties videos from back in the spring that if I saw this again, I would pick it up. And I picked it up for like 75% off or whatever. So um, Sweet Bunny Berry is very much so a generic berry scent, but it smells nice and I wanted to use it up. So would repurchase, but like I said, I'm just not crazy about the packaging for um, uh, the hand creams. Okay, and very last thing, um, I have two pocket bags. The first one I used up is Strawberry Pound Cake. I have, I think, one or two more of these, but yeah, Strawberry Pound Cake. I totally understand why some people don't like it, but I do, so I would repurchase it. Not for a while, just because I've used up a bunch of these this year, but it was a good pocket bag. And the last pocket bag that I used up for the month of September was Soft Lavender. I picked this up relatively recently, maybe back in August or so. Um, but I've used lavender pocket bags before and I like them, but only from time to time because they can be a little bit astringent smelling. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. I thought that, you know, it was a nice scent. Again, I don't want lavender all the time, but from time to time I can get down with it. So I would repurchase, but just like the strawberry pound cake, probably not for a while. So that is it, kind of short and sweet for um, my September Bath & Body Works empties. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Schoolhouse Ryan. I'll put that down below. Um, I've got my fall challenge one month update down below, and I'll put the intro down below too. Also my vintage hauls. Um, go back to my channel page and you can see my September hauls, all kinds of good stuff. So if you're into Bath & Body Works, beauty, candles, whatever, make sure that you stick around and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.